Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I am coming up with a new tutorial on modeling, texturing and lighting a conference hall in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So very first of all, let's open up a reference over here. So I'll just go into file, view image file and I'll open up a reference over here for the conference hall over here. So let's go into this and let's just take up a reference. So let's just check out the size over here for this particular reference over here. So how you can check out the size. Let's go into this right click and let's go into this and properties over here. So let's see the properties go into this details. That's it. So we have checked out the size over here, that's the size which we will be taking over here. So 1400 by 1022, let's go into this, go into rendering, go into render setup. So 1400 by 1022, so you can just render and see. So let's just take a plane over here, create a plane, so I'll just set some settings over here. Now, let's go into this, go to the top view over here, slightly I'll just make it a bit broad, go into AEC extended and I'll just take a wall over here. So let's just take a wall, I'll press S and let's just snap it over here all right you can slightly increase the size of the wall over here and let's convert to editable poly and slightly I'll shuffle this a bit far over here slightly so we can do that all right so So we have few of the things at the side over here. So let's just create this details over here. And if you want, I can just select this and this. Let's slightly insert it. So we can just slightly insert it and we can just create a glass over here. So whatever you want to show, you can just show it over here. So let's again insert this part let's go into this let's take a box let's go into this side view over here and I'll just create a box over here Select this box. I'll just change the color for now. Put it over here. Okay. 
Alright. And if you want, I can slightly later on select this vertices and a bit push this up. So press shift and drag. So before that, again I'll slightly scale this a bit. Shift and duplicate it. So how many copies you need, you can take that many copies. So I can just select this part. And let's... Alright. So let's select this stuff the whole thing the whole thing over here let's go to the top view and can slightly just push this out in this way so you can shuffle this in this way again select this and again mirror it copy it in x axis drag it over here all right so select this over here click ok so let's save this file once so I'll go into this save your file let's again take a box right from the top view over here so let's just take a box slightly just resize this push this up Now, increase a bit of its height if required. Okay, that's totally okay. Over here, convert to editable poly. Select this. And if you see over here, we have something. So I'll just push this a bit up. Let's go into the side view. Let's take a line. So I'll just take a line over here. slightly shuffle this and now go into rendering enable in viewport and make it as rectangular I can slightly increase the size of it so you can increase the width if required or you can keep it less so you can just adjust this accordingly now again select the vertices slightly shuffle this up So 
slightly push this down a bit okay so whatever is going to be visible in the camera we are going to keep that till here so convert to editable poly select this edges let's give connect over here let's give two connects shuffle it one over here again select this two edges let's give two more connects shuffle this over here after that let's take okay so select this polygons and slightly you can just extrude it down very less take a box right from the top view so you can select this r and scale this you can scale and make it much straighter take again a box so you can just slightly push this up all right so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial